All right, all right. Uh, without further ado, I think I'm going to start popping into the game. Uh, thank you, everybody, for jumping in tonight. I'm going to be playing a bit more Pokemon Legends Arceus. Arceus? Arceus? I don't really know how it's supposed to be pronounced. We're just going to guess. Uh, I'm going to flip over to the gameplay. Uh, for those who watched the previous stream and are actually keeping track of uh, the Pokemon levels, uh, congrats. Because I haven't. But uh, a fun factoid, I have been continuing to grind off stream. And so the levels should be different, maybe? Uh, they should at least be higher, if I remember correctly. I was going to do some grinding yesterday. And then I didn't. Because I was tired. And I picked up a painting uh, from my apartment. Uh, and that has been most of my day today, has been running around, picking up artwork for my apartment. Uh, so, whatever grinding I was going to do yesterday, didn't happen. And we're just going to go ahead with what we got. Yes! My couch got delivered. I've been living about a month or so without one. And I was at first, I was just like, oh man, I don't need a couch. I'm fine, I'll, I'll make something. Uh, wow. Wow, I needed a couch and a table. This week has been me finally getting a bunch of furniture I have been needing severely. Uh, and hopefully that will make the anxiety levels drop drastically. Uh, but real quick, I'm going to go and actually check what Pokemon I have because I don't really remember what I left off with. Uh, something I did do uh, off stream... Uh, yes, we love the growth. Uh, something I did last stream that I did not get to feature, fortunately, was I actually learned how the time-space rifts function. What had happened previously, and I believe this was on stream, was it was just this weird space, and it didn't seem like there was anything super significant going on. It turns out that... The rifts, like, that, like, weird, like, orb itself, that's not the full picture. That's it, like, starting to form. When it's, like, actually active, like, the whole space around you gets super dark. And then just, like, random high-level Pokemon just gets thrown at you and aggroed. And there's little items that will just spawn. So, yeah, there there's a definite point to the time-space rifts. I just, on last stream, had no idea what I was dealing with. Uh, but they are no joke. I actually got knocked out. Uh, so I'm actually going to, after I peek through Pokemon here, uh, see if anyone has picked up my parcel because I lost some items. Nothing significant. Uh, but I'm more equipped now with knowledge because knowledge is power. Uh, I, got a, I have a Weavile. I have a Baroach. Uh... Got something else, I think. Oh, yeah, in my inventory now. Uh, got a Sylveon. Uh, got one that spawned. I also caught a... It's a little covered by the chat. Uh, caught an Alpha level Rapidash. Uh, and a Combi that I caught. I leveled to a uh, Vespa Queen. Uh, other than that, the plan right now is to level up Percy... I don't know what level it evolves at. I'm hoping it's in the 30s. Uh, but leveling up Percy to whatever the next evolution of Pokemon is. Because uh, I think the only evolution of uh, one of these boys is an alpha that I've run into. And I don't really want to deal with that quite yet. But yeah, we are... We're just having a grand old time. And let me check my parcel... Did I? Is my inventory emptied at all? Everyday items. Nope, I'm going to drop off some stuff that I've got. Uh, let's see. Lost and found. Connect to the internet, please. Okay. Lost and found. Oh, someone found it? Yes! A satchel containing items you've dropped has been delivered to you by Jade. Jade? I don't know if it's our Jade. 
Uh, but if it is you, my sweet, sweet Jade, thank you so much. Uh, and if it's a completely different Jade, uh, you are also equally as loved. Uh, good vibes out to you. Uh, let me just claim that, yeah. I drop, sh I drop shards, which I haven't actually encountered the outside of what I lost. Uh, let's see. Everything is obsidian fields type of stuff, which is not too... It's, it's a real jade love and night. Uh, everyone, send love out to your local jade. Uh, if you got one, and if you don't got one, send love out into the universe to all the jades. Both, both people and items. Send the love. Uh, and let me drop all the stuff into here, because I keep, I keep running out of room in my inventory. I should really just get more. And I should have done that off stream, because it's annoying, because I have to just keep smacking a button until this dude gets through a bunch of just, like, prompts. This game is really just showcasing uh, my horrendous tendency to be like, ah, I have obtained an item. Can I, do I only sell it? No? Great. Never gonna use it. I'm just gonna hoard it in my inventory. Oh, yeah. It's just, it's just all of the hoarding. And you know, you're not actively seeing your, uh, inventory. Uh. I, I don't understand the people in Stardew Valley who, like, don't save at least one copy of, of every single uh item they pick up or like in my case i try and save at least like 10 or 20 of every item i come across you know just in case i end up needing it because i know my memory is mixed and if i just keep something of everything i don't have to remember what i need to keep on me because i will have a fail save so I do not understand people who are like, yeah, I'll, I get some stuff, I'll just sell it all. Money. I'm like, no! Right, exactly. What if I need to give him a gift? Okay, this, I actually walked into this off stream, realized I was walking into a story thing, uh, and <laughs> just restarted the game. <laughs> uh, well, not the game itself, just the just that play session, because I was like, you know what? No. We can't, I forgot what voice I did for Benny. What did I do for Benny? I think I did Gullin's voice. Simma. <laughs> I know this Benny. It threw me off so bad. <laughs> uh, Simma, we have a situation here. Oh, let me explain. Lilligant, our clan's lady of the ridge, is in a frenzy. I like the I like the settle <laughs> this guy. I mean, look at that terrible facial hair of his. Like he's gotta be uh, mime, probably in his case. Uh, I love the I love the settle subtle Arthurian legend uh, uh, nod they're doing in whatever this thing is. Lilligant. I think that's a I think that's that's either one of them girl bugs or girl plants. Either way, this is some sort of girl Pokemon. I can tell. Uh, is in a frenzy. And Azuru knowingly kept this from me. Oh, he's pissed. La lady of what? A little again. Uh, sure. Let's, let's say I don't know what lakes are. Uh, ridges are. Yes. There's only one female. There's only one? I feel like... You know what? Go for it. Uh, there's only one. Oh, there are only... I completely misunderstand that. Uh, there are only one... There are only female Lilligant. What makes this one... And which makes this one... One of our... I cannot read. Which makes this honored one... Our Lady of the Ridge. Okay. I cannot read tonight. I took two sips of a Mike's... And I apparently am already just blasted. In terms of... This is just a bad sentence. Cancel that sentence. But this isn't time for cultural lessons. I'd like to find out just what our zoo was thinking. But she's nowhere in Juba Life Village. Miss lost in the sauce. It's a blackberry pear, which I'd never heard of. It's like a seasonal uh, one. Surprisingly good. And I've tasted a couple of them, and most of them are not great. So this is a fun surprise. Lost her soul, she was at the wallflower, polishing off a big old peg plate of potato mochi. 
Mm, I need to buy some blackberries. I, my dad used to keep them in the house when I lived back at home with my parents, and I'm like, I miss having just berries around. Uh, not that I blame her. My cook is simply irresistible after all. Man, Benny out here really being like, I'm the hot shit. Everyone loves my cakes. <laughs> Everyone come for these taters. If Azu of the Diamond Clan was somehow involved in the situation with the raging Arsaluna of the Pearl Clan, it could lead to the two clans going at each other's throats again. This guy's, this guy's a good point. Hey, welcome back, Jade. Jade, you play this game, right? Did you find my friggin' like parcel in your game? Ah, oh, no. Hmm, tell me, Commander. If we do end up in a struggle with the Pearl Clan, what will your people do? I knew it was you. I you. I think you missed it. But at the start of the stream, I went to oh smack the can mic. I went to go check my like satchel because I knew I had lost one, and it said that it was found by Jade. And I was like, oh shit, <laughs> I think that's our Jade. <laughs> I don't know, but maybe. Ah, uh, oh, that's awesome. Thank you for finding it. Uh, I got completely ass blasted by an onyx in a time. Uh, time space rift <laughs> lost it uh, back to the game uh, we'll be forced to remain neutral meaning what hmm. if we were to show support for one side it would put us at odds with the other we came here to create a home for ourselves not to take part in tearing the land apart part part rhymes with part Right. Now, of course. After all the work you put in to get us to treat one another as equals and keep us from fighting, I suppose it's no surprise you'd refuse to intervene if trouble were to break out again. Sima, perhaps you have some idea how we might address the situation. Yeah, bro, I'm like, I don't know, 12, 15? Y'all are adults. I could call the bear. <laughs> you know what? Yes. <laughs> that is exactly what a 15 year old would suggest. I want the bear's input. I want this bear's input. Found me some cool stuff. Arsa Luna. So he and Ward and Kalabala found you worthy. That's perfect, man. I, I love Ottoman's fit. I would wear these clothes. I just want that jacket, actually. I love a, a, I love a big jacket but that also has like short sleeves because I can't stand like things around my wrist. But I do like just like a big coat. Ursa Luna should be able to sniff out our zoo wherever she's gone. If you are strong enough that Ursa Luna deemed you worthy, then you should be ready to quell against frenzy as well. Sir, I got my ass almost beat by three sk uh, skunkies. Uh, we'll see how it goes. I'll heal Lilligant's seat. Then, Bra Brava Arena? Oh, I misread the sentence tone. I'll head to Lilligant's seat then. Brava Arena, it's called. If you'll excuse me. God! <laughs> We stole each other's aesthetic. My main thing is I just like this hair, but also I do not like any of the other, like, clothing options yet. And that's even including the, um, pre-order stuff. I just, no, uh, not a big fan. Um, I did not read that previous sentence. Uh, as always, we came here to make a new home where we could live without war and our strife. Where did you come from, though? I'm just gonna nod about that. I don't need to know about your political uh, trials. Ride Ursa Luna and follow the blue signal to sniff out. Oh, shit. We're tracking. You know, there's so many dog Pokemon in this game. And you decided to make the mission that would be to hunt someone's, like, down the ascent. The bear. I will say I'm disappointed. But not surprised. Okay. 
<laughs> Bear with me. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's just like it just it flaps in the back. I'm I'm such a fan of just like designs with scarves that flutter behind you. Uh, Journey it really is just my aesthetic uh, when it comes to like pretty pretty stuff. Uh, yeah, I'm heading out. Where are we going? Uh, I don't think there's any parcels in Crimson Mire Land, at least from what I've seen. So, we shall see. I think I actually went to the wrong camp. The girl who set out earlier must have been eating some of Benny's potato mochi. I could still smell them on her. Uh, well, it's unfortunately raining, so that's gonna fucking suck. I imagine this game is not actually taking into consideration that rain probably is gonna muddle a scent like that, but that would actually be interesting if it did. That reminds me, I've seen Mistress Kalabala riding around on that Ursaluna she serves, digging for a treasure in the ground. I wonder if Ursaluna uses his sense of smell to suss out where treasure might be. Okay. This game has a problem where it will introduce a thing and it will either wait like an hour's worth of gameplay later to actually tell you it exists and at that point you've probably already found it yourself or it will give you a mechanic and then it will proceed to inform you of it five times over the next ten minutes of gameplay. Yeah. <laughs> Ursaluna now knows Azur's scent. I'm probably pronouncing that name so wrong. Uh, follow the blue signals to find her. The game also never actually informs you how to switch between, uh, like, the mounts. I'd actually just look up in the, uh, the, the area where, uh, you see just the controls actually learn that. Because it is not clear. Uh, the sad part is this is the least hand-holdy Pokemon game in years. Yeah, it's not as hand-holdy as it could be. And that's, unfortunately, that's saying much. Uh, the the, uh, the amount of tutorial, it's at least not as egregious as, uh, uh, what was the, Sun and Moon. Sun and Moon, I never actually finished that one because I just could not stand how much, like, it just felt like I was perpetually, like, in a tutorial. Oh, that's a, yeah. But yeah, I do appreciate what this game tries to do in some aspects, but it really, it really needs, uh, work. Oh, goodness gracious. Okay. Where is... There we go. God, it's really quite... Oh, we're being blocked. Uh, what do I think the best Pokemon, best of the Pokemon games currently on Switch? What do you think is the best? Um, I mean, I'm having a ton of fun with this one. I have never, I have not played, uh, the Sword and Shield. At least based on what I saw, it didn't look like it really brought anything to the, like, the, the table that made me think, like, oh man, this is a... This is a, a game I really want to play. It was just, it looked okay. And then I have not heard much good about the Diamond and Pearl, the Diamond and Pearl uh, remixes. Uh, in, in terms of like what it brings uh, that the original games don't bring. So if you ha do not have access to the original Diamond and Pearl uh, DS games, I definitely recommend the Switch one. But if you do have access, like, don't don't get the Switch one from what I've seen. Unless you can implement that mod that lets them, like, be the correct size. Because then then that that is a game changer. Because it's just so good to just have some big boys. Oh, we're climbing. Let's go. Let's go. Come on. Uh, come on. This us go, big boy. Ugh. How do I get over here? I, I the fact that they're having me like 
try and let, look at this like tiny little measurement on the front while I'm walking through so many trees. It's it's just a little frustrating. Please tell me your exploit for the hills, please. Oh, I, I said, uh, where's the button? Come on, let's go. Let's go. Come on. Come on. We're getting up this hill. Come on. We are going to just aim a Pokeball and walk diagonally. One moment. I will try this. It limits slipping. Ooh, okay. Okay, we're going to go here and then... Come on. Oh, 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 oh. Ah, uh, okay. Mm, let's go back to this one. I found a... Oh, oh, this thing is large. Come on, let's go. Come on. I believe in you. You know what? My mind... Oh, God. It just exploded. <laughs> My mind decided that the wire deer's name was Gandalf, and so it shall be. Okay, let's go, let's go. Come on, come on. It, it can get up here. I can see you. If there's an invisible wall stopping me from doing this, I'm going to scream. <sighs> okay, okay. Let's maybe go up here. Have I gotten to this section before? Uh, zoom in. Okay, maybe. You know what? I think I just need to teleport here. I think I need to do that. I think I'm just being a little foolish because, uh, trying to path is not the easiest. Okay. Are we going in the right direction? We're kind of going in the direct direction. Oh, good. The swamps. I'm so good at the swamps. Oh, there was a... Wait, did I set this up, or is this, like, actually something I need to head towards? No, I created this. Okay, I'm gonna turn this off to stop thinking that this is the right way to go. Where is my sense of direction? Okay. Oh, I need this to not speed up as it does when I start heading in a, a good direction. Oh, scun tank! You bitch! <gasps> You bitch! I'm running from you. I'll come back and beat your ass later, but I'm, I'm running from you now. <gasps> no, Warwick! Is, is, this the, is this the bed he pissed on earlier? Or is this an, uh, the bed he made because of the piss? We can say piss on Switch, right? I'll find out later. Uh, is this? Oh, there she is. Hello. God damn it, Warwick. Your dad makes you a nice bed because you're pissed on the other one. And then you go ahead and you be an asshole. Your hair isn't beautiful enough for you to be able to get away with all this, Warwick. Alright. Oh yeah, she is cute. Uh. Oh, Sama. How did it all go with Ursa Luna? Does she sell groceries? What's up with that? I helped him. I calmed him down. I calmed him down? Sure. He chilled. He chilled out. I just I just ran up with him, so you saw it. Wow. You really are strong. But how'd you find me all the way out here? The bear. Uh, <laughs> I'm gonna let her know it was specifically the mochi, so she learns her lesson. You followed the son of the potato mochi I brought at Wallflower? Man... I wish I could eat some more of those right now. Jubilee Village sure was a lot of fun. <laughs> the bear with me. <laughs> and my luck's run out, though. As you can most likely tell. I, I'm i gonna guess she sprained her ankle or something. But because of this is like a G-rating game, I can't tell. Yep, yep, it's always the ankle. I got chased by Pokemon and sprained my ankle pretty bad. I was running away. Ugh, girl, I feel ya. I have sprained my ankle multiple times. And yeah, you just gotta be like, mm, going down. Mm, the legs. 
It's almost like the world wants to punish me. Okay, girl. Okay. I don't know enough about you to actually know if that's a justifiable uh, thing you just said, but okay. Ah, there you are. Arezu, right? Eek! I I'm guessing that's the sound she made. Hmm, see, you fucked up your leg there. Mistress Kalabala, I, I, I didn't... Mm, I owe you an apology. I treated you with disrespect, thinking you were just some whelp from the Diamond Clan. I'm sorry for that, so I, I should have treated you better. I thought, Phoenix, I misread your, your message. I thought you said, ma'am, you're being a little dramatic whore. Uh, huh? Wait, but... It's not your fault that Lilligant became frenzied, nor that my or Luna was so enraged. You were trying to help them both, weren't you? I don't necessarily know if Arazun was actually trying to help, but I won't say no. I didn't even have the courtesy to listen to you. You'd think someone who's lived as long as I have would be more patient. It's okay. I didn't do a good job explaining myself either. Ursa Luna only started acting weird after he got too close to Lilligant and smelled her perf perfume? Is the Pokemon wearing perfume now? She was already frenzied by that point, so... I'm sure that's what caused it. Oh, that makes sense. Uh, cause yeah, the last time they mentioned it was like Ursuline was covered in like a poison, and they were like, they're like, why is this covered in poison? This isn't frenzied, but it's weird. She was, that was it was a little gant. so it's a plant person. Uh, that explain that explains the strange powder I found on Ursuline. It must have been powder from a little gant. But what happened to your leg, dear? I love the barrel just staring. No thoughts. No thoughts happening. I was gathering ingredients to make bombs, but I fell and sprained my ankle. Unfortunately ironic that you sprained your ankle while trying to find something that would help heal stuff. Unfortunately, I have no bombs with which to heal my ankle. So I'm kind of fuck stuck here until it, well, chills out. See, the reason I went to Juba Life was to get help for a Saluna and also learn of, about crap. You haven't learned about the concept of making things? But while I was there, I bumped into Professor Labaton, and he told me about the bombs you had used to quell uh, Cleaver. <laughs> I mean, I can make smoke bombs. So I thought I'd make some for Lilligant using her favorite foods. I mean, you don't need to go somewhere to learn how to shove food into a bag. You galaxy people know all sorts of things. I'd like to learn even more from you, really. You know about shoving food into bags. <laughs> Why is he here? Well, then we better take care of our lady and get all this mess resolved first. Is that just oranges behind him? His eyes are huge. It just hit me how big his eyes are. Adamant? What do you think you're doing? Doing all this yourself? <laughs> Did you think I couldn't help you? No. No one would blame you for thinking so. Not much of a leader, am I? I've never seen Almighty Shino with my own eyes. I don't think anyone has. Y'all are constantly just like being like not having any idea what Shino is. I mean, that's religion, though. <laughs> I, I, as soon as I saw Ottoman, I knew how people were probably going to be feeling about him. Hence why I opted to give him the Squidward voice, just to knock him down a peg, you know? We gotta, we gotta keep, we gotta keep this, the tech, this Tumblr sexy man from happening too quickly. I failed to imagine that Lilligat might have become frenzied, too. Listen up, Sema. I'll take the bombs that Arazu made and meet you at Brava Arena. 
which one is Nanu actually, Jade? I, I've, uh, there's so many Pokemon games, <laughs> it's hard to remember who is who. I'm assuming, it, actually, I don't, I don't actually have an assumption. Uh, don't worry, Arzu. Summer will calm Lil again, and that will be that. Things should settle down. Oh, right, yeah, the soldier guy. Ah, uh, he has all the cats. <laughs> That's a good pull. That's a good pull, actually. I love that man. <laughs> Heads of Brava Arena, Sema. That's where Little Gant's seat lies. Alright, you will be taken care of, my dear Barable, and I will make sure she reaches her lady. Oh, whoa. She spawned into existence. Ah, uh, but Beryl, speak to me. Oh, I love him. Okay. Uh, that seems. Who is aggroing me? Is it a Paris? No. I don't see anything. Who is looking at me? This is just a visual representation of what having anxiety is like. Danger. Where? Danger. Where? Uh, that is a haunter. Let me get up on its ass. Whoop. Okay, whatever was watching me is no longer watching me. Yeah. It seems like the ghost Pokemon just appear at night for the most part, which is cool. Because then I can make it daytime if I want to not run into a bunch of ghost Pokemon. Uh, but at the moment, I am heading... What is this? New request. I don't know what this is. Oh, right. I did like a bum rush over to here uh, earlier for something. I was trying to see if I could find something. Uh, I guess I spawned this point. Yeah, there's not really anything of much interest around. Uh, apparently there's a request over here, and I love getting requests, so... <gasps> Sorry. Hi, Martina. You're from Galaxy Team, aren't you? Do you know the medicine that can cure headaches? Oh, girl, I'm sorry. You are not helping a Psyduck. <laughs> I live together with these little ones, and I can tell they've been suffering terribly, even more than usual. I wish I could do something, but none of the medicines I have tried have worked at all. <laughs> have you heard of... I'm gonna get her some Excedrin. I'm gonna get her some of that ancient Excedrin. It just hands her cocaine. There's so many people in the galaxy team. Surely you must have some sort of healer. Um, I got berries. Please, could you ask them for some medicine? Uh, the headache-stricken Psyduck. Every single Psyduck. I only just got the fragment of the three ladies. I've just been running around killing things. My level 45 shiny er- Oh, what is your Irving? I must know. Uh, gather information in Jubilee Village about the medicine that might ease the headaches. Uh, probably this week, as I'm like still doing on-call work and likely not streaming, I'm probably gonna do like a lot of just like similar types of grinding too, because all my Pokemon are pretty underleveled. Oh, <laughs> oh, we love a boy with pronouns and blue hair. Uh, I miss Irving. I love that good boy. He's still alive, I'm assuming, yes? Uh, okay. Let's see if I can find... Oh, I'm actually supposed to go this direction. I'm supposed to go up here. Uh, let's actually see if I can figure out what this request is asking for. Uh, yeah, the, the trials and tribulations of hiatus. I, I do not envy the... Where the heck is this request? Azu's predicament. Oh, this is the main mission. No, I'm looking for the completely non-important stuff. Max revives. Oh, yeah. I'm going to quickly zip back to Jubilife Village uh, to get my little mitzies on that. What is up this hill? Uh, so many good games are in hiatus, and it's just heartbreaking. But, like, life, life be like that. I miss... I miss my good bard lock. I think, aren't we only doing like one more session of that game? Which like, big grin, 
blowout is always fun, but man, I want I'm gonna play more. Life needs things to live. Unfortunately, it does. It needs so much to live. Oh, this guy looks like he's seen war. He's not looking at me. He's just looking straight forward. Uh, let me go back to the village. D and D, such a fun game. So hard to make happen. Okay. Let me actually make this my active mission, just so I'm uh, not fumbling around too much. Yes, please. Where do I go? I'm assuming it's, yeah, inside. I wish, I wish Volo would come and visit. I miss her. She's cool. Oh, who are you? I don't know where she could be. Zeke? <laughs> Phoenix, it's Zeke. There you are. You're the one, right? The one that they've all been talking about? This is him. He's white. <laughs> the Survey Corpus kid that's been exploring the cribs in Myrlands. My younger sister, Wanda, is in this. Okay, Phoenix, we're getting secret backstory uh, for your character. My younger sister, Wanda, is in the security corps, you see. And she went to the Myrlands, too. You see, she went back to the Myrlands too, and she never made it back. Just just collecting sisters at this point. You managed to track down that Erezu woman from those boggy Myrlands, right? So could you find my sister too? I don't know, did she eat potatoes? I think go out of what she smell like. I'm gonna ask I'm gonna throw this at him with no context. What she smell like? I'm so glad they actually like had him respond like what the fuck? <laughs> what? <laughs> I need to know what she smells like so the bear can know cuz I'm going to just tell the bear. Uh, oh, you mean to they search her by scent? Well, maybe the kerchief she usually carries could do could be of some use. You have it? Are you sure she didn't just get kidnapped? Ursa Luna picked up Wanda's scent. I'm counting on you. Please find Wanda wherever in the Marlins she ended up. Gone astray in the Marlins. I'm assuming she's going to be, like, cornered by some Pokemon, and then they're going to come and uh, beat me up. So I'm not going to immediately do that. <laughs> I'm going to let her hang out for a while because I know how these games are. Uh, I thought I saw... There we go. Toma. Huh. After a medicine that can cure Psydux headaches? Well, you came to the right person. Take this. It's a secret medicine that only those from my hometown know how to make. This is drugs. This is 100% drugs that we're going to giving, we're giving to a duck. It's weird. <laughs> Man, dose of secret medicine. That's not weed. It looks like it's brown. You burnt the weed. I can't believe they burnt the weed. As you'll see, it works wonders. Give it to any ailing Pokemon and it'll be right as rain. Even a Psydox headache will clear right up. I'm sure this totally isn't just burnt marijuana I wanted to get off of my hands. Oh, God, it's used weed. <laughs> they already smoked it. It's just, it's just like ash. I don't actually know how weed works. I don't know if it just turns to ash. I'm honestly too nervous to try it on my own because I know people who are like allergic to it. And the last thing I want to find out is if I'm allergic to marijuana on my own. Because that feels like a bad idea. Can't believe it's oregano. I've been, I've been lied to. Right, yeah. 
it's like granted i'll i can theoretically google like what's an amount i can take uh that won't make me uh absolutely lose my mind but also like no sense in experimenting it turns out it gives me just anxiety and also uh no longer existing uh poisoning also just smells bad though i imagine edibles don't actually taste like don't don't taste like how it smells so you found a cure for my Psydux? Give it a shot. I'm gonna go smoke weed with the Psydux, man. Aw, they're happy. Aw. Uh, a friend of mine, Jen, loves Psydux. And I believe they're playing this game. So I'm very excited for them to get some good Psyduck action. It's, I mean, you can call the shot if you just put it in like a little glass and just like, I don't know, quickly swallow it. Uh, wow, the Psyduck looks all better already. What a relief. <laughs> Thank you for finding this medicine for us. You know, I was a little nervous about the Galaxy team before, but if you're the sort of folk that was kind enough to help total strangers, I guess I had no reason to worry. Aw, she's excited. And what's that stuff again called? Secret medicine? It's just weed. This is just weed. Gosh, the Galaxy team must be very talented, and they're also not telling us what this stuff is, so we can't, you know, try and make it on our own. Maybe I'll visit you all in Jubilife, since you have the patent for whatever this is. Max Revive. Why do you just have this on you? And what combination of berries do we need to shove together to make this weird block of stuff? Uh, I am. And a kind of kit with you. Welcome. Yeah, sure. Be afraid, younglings. Let's play past the time. Okay. I hate this, but I have actually, like, quote-unquote, played this game with some children before when I was very tired. And they were wanting to play a game, and I was on a bus. And I was like, let's play the quiet game. <laughs> And I just never told them that it was over, <laughs> so I had a headache. <laughs> oh, man. Uh, that is that is a game you only suggest you start playing if you are very done with dealing with people. They were, they were very sweet little girls. Uh, I was very done with <laughs> existing. Uh, who is this out just in the wilds? <gasps> There's a ghost orb. I still have no idea what will happen when you complete this uh, stuff with the, the definitely not spiritum. Um, but you know what? Going on a hunt to find the lost souls of a bunch of... I forget if they're specifically criminals or if they're just tortured people. But I hope it does, you know, result in something interesting. Here we go. I I have to wonder if Game Freak intended the like the jumping ability with the wear deer to be like something that like actually allows you to parkour around. Uh, anime, it was yeah, okay, so it was criminals, okay. Cause yeah, so just that child came out of nowhere and was like, "Hey, help me find all these little will o' wisps," and I'm sitting here like, I know what this this rock is for and I don't necessarily trust that you're a person okay let's who is like the weakest in my party right now it's fun dip thank you sir yeah that, that child is dead <laughs> this child committed crimes I'm mean, like what's a Pokemon game without a dead child or, or child ghost Explicit or implicit. Okay. So we've got... Are those Rhydons? I don't want to deal with Zubat. Diamond... Hearth? Hearth? I think it's a Rhydon. Is it? It's a bit springy. Oh, oh. Or, I think it is. They're a lot smaller... Oh, they're so small. That was not what I was expecting. I'm gonna... Oh, no, 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 no. 
Please, please change the focus. Oh, he's gonna fight. Let's go. I will beat you up, tiny rock rhino. Oh, it's a girl. Uh, poison sting won't do anything, but absorb will. I need better moves on this little little orb. Use rock slide. Ouchie. Ouchie! That wasn't even super effective. Goodness gracious, who is... Um... Let's throw Percy out. I think Percy will be able to kind of, like, cock block this. <laughs> yeah, that did not go well. Nope. Um... I'm gonna use just a Pokeball? I don't know if I'm getting to the point yet of, uh, like, Pokeballs being, uh, not really applicable okay so it still works all right as much as i was a bit confused when this game started that when you would catch pokemon it wouldn't immediately give you a prompt to name it i understand now why they didn't do that because that would have been so freaking annoying with the like the breath of pokemon you have to deal with at like once who is did you try to cast a spell on me what in the world was that you don't see me you do see me shit um maybe you don't know no, i'm there there we go with like the color palette in the eyes the rhyhorn kind of reminds me of itty bitty whisper All right. <laughs> yeah. Good. Good, good night, right? <laughs> Percy. Oh, there's another one. Oh, there's another one somewhere. Oh my goodness gracious! Why are there so many? Oh, we just one. It just had two attacks. That startled me. <laughs> uh, I need to heal my little boy uh where is anything uh i need a revive i'm gonna make some revives N yeah please don't accidentally have me use it on something like that um use Badu. yeah i don't want to immediately run back into camp Sadly, like, the amount of hoarding I'm doing right now is, like, egregious. But this is the most, like, active, uh, like, item usage I've really done in a Pokemon game. Which is sad. But it is true. I am, I never use item Pokemon games. I think the most I'll use items is if I'm, like, dealing with a gym leader specifically, or if, what is, oh, it's another card of mine. Uh, or if I'm, like, in the Elite Four. And, like, that, I'll actually, like, just, like, I will just use so many items. It's, it's just, it's too easy. I don't want to, I don't want to ever use items because I might need them. Carnivine, no. You don't see me, you weird little vampire plant. Whoop. Fight the Sylveon. Ah, fight. Um, let's do play rough. It's hard. <laughs> Go beat up that plant, please. Don't beat up my child. I'll beat you up first. I probably could have used the ten power, the forty power one, but you know, that's on me. And that weirdly made me realize I haven't heard any updates from Hecna in a while. And I should check my email, just in case. Okay. Yes, Combi. Leave me alone. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I am in dire need of medicinal herbs. <gasps> Sudowoodo! Sudowoodo. Don't notice me. Oh, it's coming here. Oh, God. Oh, God. You don't see me. You don't notice. Is that another Paris? God. Oh, God, it's that group me. Oh, can I just 
throw like a little orb at you? Here, come into my little Pokeball. Dang it. I thought I was excited. What in the world is happening? It's still coming! This is like that whole. I don't. No, not you. I feel like I'm dealing with the uh, the whole that like that thing where it's like you can have like a million dollars a day, but there's a a slug that like chases after you uh, indefinitely. If it touches you, it's gonna kill you. Ooh, the unknown is really interesting. I I I like looking at the unknown and like trying to. Uh, decode it uh, myself without like needing like someone to say like this says this uh, which is from what I've seen not super necessary but I have I have the thing where it's like they have like options to catch them if you can decode the language um, but I haven't really like given like a big look through yet I need to at some point just be caught nope okay I am going to fight you now. Oh man, I don't know where it went. <laughs> he looks miffed that I actually like, dealt with him. I was like, oh man, he watched me run away and still chased after me when I held still. Pseudo Widow just hopes everyone doesn't have object permanence. You know what? That's fair. Goodbye, Suda Widow. We all know you ain't grass type. Why are you only now acknowledging the rain? I mastered a move. What did I master? Check summary. Give me the moves. Give me options for moves that are, like, not just... Venice Shock. What is this? The user drenches the target in a special poisonous liquid. Oh, yes, please. Um, yeah, that of a poison sink. Goodness gracious. Um, Jade, I don't know if you know this, but if you use the, like, the strong style or agile style on non-damaging moves, does that have an impact in the, like, accuracy of it potentially happening? Because I don't know if there's any, like, reason to use a strong style when doing things like, like, Stun Spore or, like, like, stuff like that. Yeah. I would like to, I would have to hope that there's some sort of impact or else there's no reason to even use things like strong style when you can just purely uh, use agile style and potentially go faster. Uh, if you're willing to burn the, the PP. Especially if you're willing to say PP. Uh, where am I going? I got totally distracted. Uh, up here. We're heading to the Rift Boys. I'm going to really quick just completely brutalize this plant. I'm sorry. Tiny, tiny flower girl. Just, just a, a horse. Just a horse that is on fire. Goodbye. <laughs> oh god, it was critical. Oh, that was so unnecessary. <laughs> Roserade. Go away. Is that a Paris? No. <gasps> oh yes, let's go. Oh, oh, oh You don't see me. You don't know me. I don't know you. You don't know me. Look away. Look away. I don't know you. You don't know me. Go away. And you, what's it? What's it? Wow. Let's go. Fight. I do find it hilarious this, that this game is an isekai instead of us being a normal person in this time period. I, I'm actually really excited that that's what's going on because it actually gives some sort of context to why people explain literally everything to us. 
Uh, let's see. Do I need Fire Blast right now? No. Will I use Fire Blast right now? Yes. Get dunked on. It was burned. Okay. Good, good. Oh, what are you going to do? Hyper focus? Fam. Good God. Okay. Um. Hey, Badoo. Let's go. I am going to attempt to catch the Roserade. Uh, oh boy. Uh, and if this doesn't work, we may have to run. I think I have, I think I have the Wee Deer queued up. Oh no! Oh, it didn't get pissed though. That's good, that's good. It didn't also get fast. Okay, okay, okay. We're doing okay. Um, I'm just gonna use the Max Revive on the Rapidash. Because Jesus Christ... Oh, Badoo! Oh, you absolute champ! Oh, Badoo. It used three turns in a row. Goodness. Okay, so if I throw Rapidash out there... I, that maybe gives me a, a chance to live? <laughs> Badoo really did not last for me. Badoo was a champ... And then everything went so wrong. Okay. I'm going to use this Pokeball. I mean, I'm going to hope this works. Or else... Oh, God. Yes! We caught the Roserade. I'm surprised that's how big the Roserade is as an alpha. Which means the Roserade is going to be tiny. Hmm. Oh, that's just the music of this area. The music sounded like something was about to happen. And it was not. I'm going to revive my poor baby Badoo. Yeah, she's like level 50 or something. I don't think I can even use the Roserade yet. Um, which I'm not mad about. <gasps> good night! Have good dreams! Tell Warwick to stop pissing on the bed. Okay. Uh... Dude's alive. That's good. I think no one else died, which is always nice to see. Let me see if I can craft more revives. So I don't actually know if I have much more. I can... I have a good bit. Okay. I'm going to make four. So I have six in hand. Always good to be able to revive the entire team in case something goes horribly wrong. Um, and I think I'm nearly out of medicinal herbs, so I'm honestly going to have to go and just farm some later. Uh, I honestly might do it to work tomorrow. Um, if, if I'm having a quiet day, uh, get some of this vivid choke. <sighs> I should make artichoke dip. I've never actually done it myself, and I feel like it wouldn't be too hard if I can get my hands on some, like, pre-cooked artichoke hearts. Um. Mm. Is that Paris still tracking me? I think it is. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna save real quick, just in case, you know, the world ends or something like that. Write my little journal. Abu, I played Pokemon today. I almost got my butt kicked by a flower. Let's go, Artaman. Artaman, you the man. Artaman. So you've come. I take it that means you're ready. Sure. Uh, actually, yeah, hold on a bit. I'm gonna... Fair enough. You are going up against a noble. I ought to prepare. You ought to prepare as all you can. I am going to make sure that Rapidash is at the top of my party. Because nothing like, uh... Starting a fight 
and then the wrong Pokemon goes out and has to spend your first turn uh, just completely... Can I not? I guess I can't sort... Wait, I can. You. I need to go up here. Okay. That should be what I need. Let me save. Actually, let me check the lost and found for... Okay, yeah. Everything's still obsidian uh, field lens. Good to know. So, you've come. I take it that means you're ready. I'm as ready as I'll ever be. Let's go fight a flower girl. Lady Lilligant's a sight to see, even in her frenzy. Behold her and be grateful. He's so excited to see his lady just go off, and I'm so pumped for him. I hope we didn't. No. Oh. I hope we didn't keep you waiting. Hee <laughs> hee. Shoes on wood go clump clump. All it took was one of my poultices to get Arezu's leg all patched up. I don't think. Based on my experience with how sprained ankles feel, that that is how that worked. Kala, Kalaba, ma'am. I'm deeply sorry we had to lean on your help so much. Especially as we're from different clans. You know, that's illegal. As you tried to solve the whole situation herself. I dare say she bit off more than she could chew and caused some trouble. But her heart was in the right place, after all. I keep forgetting that the plant is growing out of a backpack of Kalabas. Because I keep seeing it and being like, is her head growing a plant? Ooh. Listen, the Lady of the Ridge, Lilligant, is like a dancer. Always in motion. Oh, is this going to be another one of them, like, sandbag things? You'll want to dodge her real close and learn how to dodge her moves. I want to watch her close and kind of dodge moves. I'm assuming it's step to the left. Take it back now, y'all. That's right. If you keep on dodging, she might get tired out, and that'll be your opening. That's when you can bring out your own Pokemon and prove your might. Don't let me down. I f am curious if this is going to be another situation where just pelting the Pokemon with the sandbags is faster than fighting. Which I hope isn't the case, but uh, you'll, we'll see. Heck was that? Oh. Windy. Oh, leggy. Oh. Oh, right. Yeah, this is a, a Hissun form. Uh, this Pokemon has got a new form for this game. Oh, she's so cute. I love her little shoes. When you press the Y button to dodge, you'll become invulnerable to Pokemon attacks for a brief moment. Dodge with just the right timing to pass through incoming attacks without taking any damage. Okay, I think I'm gonna probably spend the first, like, couple seconds. Uh, I don't remember the old design well enough to know if it's better or not. I definitely like it. Okay. Okay. Okay, so that's it's after they land. Okay. Okay. Okay, so that's... She's going to jump and jump. Okay. So I need to keep her in my sights. Okay. Okay. So that's it. Just have to... If we, okay, so I'm I'm getting better. Okay. Okay, so it's you just gotta watch as she like, just kind of goes off. Oh, she was good about doing something. Okay, and okay. Okay. Ooh, you just continued to go. Let's go. Fight. 
yeah, this is definitely going to be a battle where I want to, uh, here's your chance to show a little get in your power. Um, Fire Blast. <laughs> Let's go. Um, yeah, I'm not going to do any strong moves because I don't want to necessarily use, uh, yeah, what can I throw at you? Oh, this is super helpful. Okay, it was just don't kill me. Oh goodness. Okay. Yeah, that's a that's a strong. What are you doing? Okay, we're going back to the old stuff. Now you need to. I'm going to assume that's a. Okay. Okay, that just kind of pumped me up. Oh, goodness gracious. Okay, okay. Oh, I thought I had that. I guess rolling into her is not going to be super helpful. Let me just. Oh, I thought I had that. Okay. Nope, 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 nope. Pokemon, let's go. Nope. Okay. I'm just going to focus on dodging for just a hot minute. I hey, can I can play Dark Souls too. Oh, it's just not going down. Okay. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. Let's go. Pokemon time. Let's go. Yeah, this is this is actually hard. The fight is not hard because I have my good old Rapidash who still needs a name. Uh, but I actually this is this is I think what uh, this kind of thing should be like learning these patterns. It's gonna be in you with bags. And we are almost done. Come on, come on, come on. Yes. That was actually fun. That was very fun. Oh no, Lilligant. Eat this food. And we've killed her. Ooh, pretty. She's okay now. Yay. I don't know. I miss that, like, really, like, golden color scheme. I hope that's what the shiny looks like. I'm assuming it's not. But I would love if that's what the shiny looked like. Oh, she's my size. I could dance with her. I love your shoes. Where'd you get them? You received the meadow plate from Lilligant. A stone tablet imbued with the essence of plants. When used on a certain Pokemon, we're not saying who, it allows the Pokemon to gain the power of the grass type. Interesting. Hey. Thank you. You didn't just save Lilligant. You saved Arezu as well. And I appreciate that. First Ursar Luna and now Lilligant. You're amazing. You know that? Being all frenzy didn't suit Lilligant one bit. I don't know. I think she looked cool. Uh, I'm, I'm so happy she's back to her graceful self. I mean, let a girl go off. <laughs> Lol. Arezu, I think you still owe someone an apology. I added so many words there. Huh? Oh, don't worry about it. A young one like her is bound to get caught up in some trouble from time to time. How old is she? 16, maybe? I don't know these Pokemon games. Remember what's written in Silesian Ruins? Our lives touch other lives to create something anew and alive. I have apparently been guarding that rune for years, and I think only just now actually read what the text said, so I'm just going to assume everyone else read it first. There's wisdom in those words. I imagine they're the teachings of Almighty Shino itself. I've I've made a decision. 
At this point, any time Arceus has spoke, which was very minimal, uh, I've used a Shakespearean regard for him or them or it. I don't actually. I don't know what the pronouns are of genderless legendary. From now on, when it pops up, I'm. Oh woo! Thank you, Jade, for the follow. Uh, at this point, whenever Arceus speaks, or if Arceus speaks, I'm just going to use the Jolene voice. Of course, I'd completely forgotten about them until a certain somebody helped me remember. We owe you one, ma'am. Caliba, are you implying that you're the one who helped her remember? Because it wasn't you. Don't try to solve everything by yourself, Arezu. You're a warden, of all people. We should know how to stand in solidarity with others. I don't think any of you guys have any idea what that means, outside of that one woman from the beginning with the munchlax. It's our job to stand side by side with Pokemon, after all. Yes, I know, I'm sorry. Well. I can hardly start yelling at you now after Calabo wrapped it up so nicely. I was g I was going to yell at you <laughs> in front of all these people. Just one more, th just one more thing, Arezu. I know you were trying to do what you thought was right, and I approve of that. But from now on, do it without keeping things from me. Agreed. Yeah, but what if you yell at her for trying to do something that you don't think is right? Other than that, no need to change anything. Except maybe put in some training. If anything else happens to Lilligan, I need you ready to protect her like the warden you are. I do like her her boob fanny pack. I understand. Let's work together from now on to keep the Marlins safe, Arezu. Aw, they're bonding. They're working as a team. I'll be sure to inform Marita that both the Diamond Clan and Galaxy Team helped save Ursa Luna. You did well, Summer. All our different groups finally joined hands to work together today. I admit, it was fun for me. But now it's about time I be on my way. God, I'm so tired. Listen, you know me. I'm Adaman. Honestly, if I was in the situation and I wasn't seeing text constantly, constantly on my screen, this would probably be the moment I like actually figured out, figured out what this guy's name was. I'm Adamin, leader of the Diamond Clan, and I worship on my Shino, the ruler of time. Okay, so now is not the time to, for you to be like, this is what I think is correct. Time is all about change, and we can't live in fear of that. We can only try to help the time we live in change for the better. Fair enough point. Something tells me helping you folks out will help me do that. I look forward to it. I bet. Sorry, I've been looking at his coats and like have been trying to think like how can to make how can I make this coat a reality? I bet someone could probably like make like a knit pattern for it. The little danglies on the on the ends are very lovely. Thank you for everything, Sema. I think I'll stay and talk to Lilligant for a while. You'll talk to Lilligant? So you mean you're going to be rubber duckying ideas? Unless you can actually talk. Oh, uh, Rowlet is my starter. I just have him in uh, storage right now. Uh, it's currently evolved to the, the mini stage, and I have named him Eugene. Because uh, I couldn't remember what the name was of uh your you'll uh free to roast me for this uh the name of the rival of phoenix Wright. i can't remember what his name was but my god the middle evolution has the exact same hair um and i couldn't remember what his name was so i just went with eugene uh for the time that's it miles edgeworth there we go uh what happened Lilligant? how do kind-hearted pokemon like you end up all frenzied, huh? This is my parents asking me what happened, and I look to them and say, I'm queer and I have mental illness. <laughs> That's what happened. 
though it's not like I'm perfect. I hid things and lied and couldn't even keep you safe. I think God was what happened to <laughs> your Pokemon. Uh, I'm really sorry about everything. This is just, yeah. Riveting conversation. Just animal sounds. Bum, ba, da, ba. Report to Commander Kamado that you have accomplished your mission. Okay, so I think we're at the point. I doubt we're done with this region. If we are done with this region, I'm going to be very surprised because there is so much that still needs to be looked into. Uh, and I still don't have a means to cross rivers, which there's a lot of this region that you need to be able to cross a river to deal with. Um, also, I see Lake Valor. I don't know if we'll be running into the lake Pokemon in this game, but I do hope that we do. Because I do like them, as I know there are some people who do not like the designs of the lake trio. And I definitely agree that the designs are, they're a bit, they could be more interesting. Or they don't necessarily need to be three. But you know what? I like that there is three. I enjoy them. Uh, I want to see what this lake is. Um, can check out this lake, and I think that's going to be it, at least for this area. Then I'm going to go back and see what else the general needs. This is where the food goes. This is where the water goes. I just assume that those are supposed to be, like, feed bowls. They talk about, like, ah, oh, this is where we give the sacrifices. And it's like, this is just, it's food. Have a good night, Jade. Have a good sleep. Thank you for coming to the stream. I'm going to drown now. Can I drown in this lake? No. I get why this game, uh, doesn't let you swim. So that's a pretty good way to allow for, like, a way to control where you go in an area. But, uh... I wish you could swim. I'm I'm always sad in video games and they're like, no swimming. No swim for you. Oh my satchel's full. Beans. Okay. Um, I'm going to go to here and I'm going to dump all my stuff with Laventon. Get everything appraised. Get some appraisals done. Hmm. <gasps> Volo! I saw a lat dis. Oh, why did I go southern with that? I saw a light disappearing into the space time into the space time rift. Another quelled quelled another frenzy Pokemon. Have you? Hmm. We still don't know what's causing the lightning that frenzies those Pokemon. But you, you just go on and rescuing them without even a hint of trepidation. I love this little animation with her hand. You can see where the animation ends and repeats. Which is a weird level of lack of polish, but I don't know. It's very fun. I like this weird gesture. You might even change the entire course of history here in Haisu. Okay, that's a big that's a big statement. And I definitely want to be in the good books of someone who's like that. Stay in touch, friend. Show up more, maybe. I'll write you in my memoir if you hang out with me more. What's up? I caught three Pokemon. One's a big boy. Uh, alpha Pokemon caught. I got a lot of money. I have so much money right now. Yeah, there's definitely, like, music in this game probably could have been better in some parts. But I really like the remixes they do of some of the, uh the diamond and pearl platinum games uh songs it's very nostalgic for me uh, i made some observations sure you can look at my book do i still not am i not done with carnivine what do i have to do for it uh i could catch more that's true i could fight some more uh i've seen it it's a strong style move at times you stunned it using items okay 
That was not what I was expecting, but okay. Hmm. What's this? You quelled Lady Lilligant? Smashing. Let's head back to the village, then. The commander wanted, is wanting a report. We'll be wanting a report. Again, I can't read. I want to run away. Okay. Benny, what's up, bro? Why am I walking in through this way? Found you about a set of mochi, did you? Of course you did. When you have my level of skill, Yandi work can be recognized from a mile away. Remember to be thankful for eating, getting to eat such massive emoji when you come for dinner later. <laughs> but first, don't you owe Kamato a report. Your meal can wait. Okay. So I'm guessing just come by after work? I don't know. Uh, I need to drop some stuff off first. Should I have... Oh, what's up? What's up? I'll chat with you later. I'm probably going to be doing some fashioning after uh, a chat with the commander. I didn't feel like I picked up much. I guess I just picked up a variety of stuff is the thing. I don't actually know if I dropped off my stuff. I, as much as I really don't think I'll be using the feather ball that much, it's still nice to have it on hand. Uh, just in case. Uh, let's go sell. Sell, sell, sell. That junk shop, a bone. Anything you want, it's yours for price. I don't want anything, I'm giving you things. Oh, I can just sell straight from storage? I should have known that. Eh, okay. It's fine. Uh, let's go chat up with the commander, who's definitely not evil. I actually don't know if, uh... Well, I don't think she's the commander. She's, uh... Silene. I honestly don't know what her drift is. And I... I don't know. I'm curious to see how she is later in the game. Uh, what is... Up, Toma? You're already searching the noble Pokemon, too. My. Being in the survey eclipse well, must be tough. Yeah, it's hard. I gotta run everywhere. I don't think these shoes have much support either, so that's... That's a bit rough. Oh, by the way, if you've been playing this game, uh, and I don't realize this, there's a basement in this building. I had no idea until I had a quest that led me down there. I thought, like, the game was broken. So, you successfully calmed Lilligant. Yep. Excellent. Are you in on this, sir? Actually, wait, I might have just... <laughs> the tone I was giving him was was changing my perspective on him. There may well be times when the Galaxy team will be forced to fight against Pokemon, but it is all for the sake of creating a new home for ourselves, free from war and strife. Sir, I constantly have to battle Pokemon. Or at least I should be, in order to, you know, be at a level to deal with stuff. A stranger falls into our world from a rift in space-time. Then frenzies are introduced by strange lightning, which likewise falls from that very same rift. Do you, do you get where I'm going? I'm I'm blaming you. We're going to kill you. But you have no connection to the lightning. Isn't that right? That's the official story we're going with. I'm blaming you. We may need to investigate the rift itself to prove your motives are beyond Im Impugning? Define impugning? Impugn means dis 
dispute the truth, validity, or honesty of a statement or motive. Call into question. Oh, okay, that makes sense. Thanks, Siri. That's a that's a hack I also will use if I don't know how to spell a word. I will say it to Siri and ask how it is defined, and it will spell it out for me, which is lovely. I highly suggest that hack, and I don't suggest doing it when you're just standing next to family members, because they'll be like, why are you asking how to define very simple words? I finished the quest. I think that means I get new hair now. Dinner time. There you go. Bye not potato mochi, fresh from the stove. There he goes. Now this is the life, eh? Enjoying tasty potato mochi with friends, sharing the latest findings from our Pokemon research, and topping it all off with a good night's sleep. Furly, who could ask for anything more? Whatever the heck is in those little, like, clay vessels. Could we embrace? Sure, it's nice. Yet I keep doing the same thing day after day. Is it really getting us anywhere? Probably not. You're an NPC. With our research or with carving a life out here? Okay, kid, here's the thing. It's been like a week and you're 10. That's just how life kind of feels. Uh, right. We have this flashy new recipe, Sam. <laughs> it's out here being like, everything's the same. Nothing changes. Oh, here's a cool new thing. It ought to scatter these gloomy thoughts. Oh, you're making a pun. You asshole. You obtained a recipe for scatter bangs. I think I got some from a quest. A pod pod and a castor fern leaf. Come now, don't worry yourself so, my boy. Boy. As a wise man once said, trust in yourself and you will find your way. Okay. These words are worth taking to heart. As long as we truly believe in ourselves, I'm sure we'll even complete that Pokedex of ours someday. I think this will be the first Pokemon game I actually bother trying to complete the Pokedex. Om nom 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 nom. Delicious. That reminds me, I'm going to set a reminder for myself tomorrow evening to go to the store because I tried to hang a painting in my bathroom and I forgot that, you know, the texture of the walls is a bit different because of the extra moisture, and it just fell right the heck off. So I'm going to need to get bathroom-specific hangers tomorrow. After work. Ah, uh, big stretch. I should actually stretch more. Morning, sleepyhead. Aw, hi. You'll never guess what. I'm gonna start working at the hairdresser's shop. Wait, so what about your duties with the as a ward? Now you'll be able to try out my original hairstyles. It's not super exciting. Uh, I'm still gonna be a little against warden and all. I'll be burning the candle at both ends, but I can make it work, so don't worry. Aww. 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 Anyway. Come over and went to the hairdressers when you can, Sama. I'll give you a killer new haircut. I'm just gonna nod at that. I am pleased you have found a worthy successor for your establishment, Edith. M Mr. Kamado, sir, um, so about that whole Ursa Luna situation? If you are to work here in Jubilife Village, you are family to us. No matter who you are or where you're from. Welcome, Rezu. Okay. So this whole time that these people have been raising this massive stink about how, like, you're an outsider. You're an outsider. You gotta earn your place. We gotta, you, you'll die if you're not good enough. And she walks in and it's like, I wanna live here. I wanna cut hair. And they're like, you're hired. <laughs> your family, here's your spot at the, the, the table. And you, Sama. Get fucked. You will come with me. <laughs> to Prelude Beach. Why are we going back there? Now go into the ocean with you. <laughs> I will throw you into the sea. 
Have you heard of the... Oh, what is happening? Arguing? What's going on? These people have just arrived here in Hisu. They will live together with us in Jubilife's village. Okay. Who are they? Why are they here? When we of the Galaxy team first arrived in this land, we came ashore on Prelude Beach. It is where everything began, as this is where new life for all of us will begin as well. Wait, are these people from around? I have recognized that woman, but I don't remember what the context was for her. We have heard... What's a good voice for this guy? We heard that his region is inhabited by many powerful and frightening Pokemon. But we also heard that the Galaxy team knows a great deal about Pokemon and their uses, and uses their mysterious powers to help Jubilife's village grow. Indeed, you have- oh, those are two different people. Indeed, you have both heard correct and speak the same. We will not address this. You will all use the same accent, so it is easy on the god above who narrate us to deal with it. And the reason such tales have reached your ears is largely thanks to Summer here, one of our Survey Corps recruits, who really has done everything, but, you know, we will take credit where we can. Through the combined efforts of all our team members, let us continue to develop our village and thrive here in the Hisu region. Oh, that guy's got massive camel toe. We're looking forward to doing our part, Commander. Oh, just like more people here. Okay. And they're gone. The advancements of our understanding of Pokemon, thanks to the Survey Corps, has expanded the areas where we can operate safely. That is what allows us to welcome in newcomers like them. Summer, you truly do love Pokemon, don't you? I could give or take. <laughs> Not really. Yeah, I like them. They're cool. I like birds that can attack people. Hmm. Pokemon have done grave injury to many of our fellows in the Galaxy team, which makes it a bit weird. And yet you still find love for these creatures in your heart. Isn't the whole like, point of your group is to do Pokemon stuff? Wouldn't it be kind of, you know, not the point of what the heck is going on to be a part of this team and hate Pokemon? No. I suppose that is a necessary quality for one of the survey corps. But, you know, we sort of force you into it anyway or else you are going to die. So, you know, we must learn it for the job. Remember this, though. Pokemon are terrifying creatures. It is imperative that we study them and learn all that we can about them, whether we wish to long aside them or not. Are you implying that something might happen to them? And be warned, as a leader of the Galaxy team, I am prepared to make harsh decisions in order to protect Jubilife Village. This is probably foreshadowing for something in the future. These games have never really been all that subtle. Excuse me, boss. Are you from the Pearl Clans here? Good. I believe I know what she's here about. We've been going through several cutscenes right now, so I guess we're going to have to wrap it back up in a moment and let you be free. And as for you, Sema. You should see for yourself how Jubilife Village is changing thanks to the Survey Corps efforts. Then you will come to my office. You won't tell me what to do. I'm guessing what happened was uh, as the game goes on, the more requests you complete, or at least the right requests that you complete, those people are just going to come and live in the town. I believe that's kind of how MOBAs are. Or at least like a base building game. Neither which are genres I tend to play. So I'm yeah, I'm just going to assume that's what it is like. Um, and live with it. Why am I running? Oh, I wanted to see the town. Yeah, he's implying that changes have happened. So let me run amok and see just what has occurred. Buzzle. I still need to get a big buzzle. I think this just means that I need to find 
a uh, an alpha one, which I haven't yet, but that's fine. I can do it at some point. Uh, you good? You're kind of standing here weird. You good, Mickey? Oh, right, right. I have to look for a Drifloon. Uh, we'd heard reports that a Drifloon was playing with one of the village children over on Prelude Beaches in the evenings. It seems like odd behavior for a Pokemon, so all of us in the Survey Corps worried its true intentions were to harm the child in some way. Thankfully, all the village children were safe and accounted for when we went to check on them. But there was one curious thing. None of them seemed to know anything about a Drifloon. But, well, so many Pokemon from the village have reported seeing the Pokemon, we can't simply pretend there isn't an issue here. Since this calls for investigation, I thought the Curvy Survey Corps would be our best bet. We need you to find the truth behind the Drifloon and the child it's been playing with. Ma'am, I am pretty sure that is the ghost child. Uh, let me just go home. What is this? New request. N new, new request. A request to take care of. Uh, I'm going to turn it to night and see what's up. Because there's something, something's happening. Uh, actually, I'm going to be doing, uh, save. Okay, so it looks like there's going to be three more sandbag battles. Uh, what is this? Hi, this is a new building, I think. Radissa. Yeah. No, no, that won't work. Just what kind of Pokemon is this almighty Sinnoh? I wonder. Fair question. You selling anything? You look like you are. Okay, no, you're just repeating yourself. Is this a shop? What is this? This looks good. I want to eat it. Give it to me. No. I don't think that this was hair before. What's what's up? Honestly, I'm not sure whether battling with purple makes you brave or reckless. Uh, what you got me, Auntie? New styles? Excellent. What can I help you with? I want to, about your quest. Can you show me male Hippotus? Oh. You just want to see this little guy. I don't have the female one. Ah. See, that makes more sense. I was just looking for, like, the big version. Uh, I want to buy some clothing. Or at least want to look at what you have. And probably not be super impressed, but, you know. Uh, twisted headband. Ooh. Okay. This could be a game changer. Dark Slate. Ooh. Are they all? Ooh. Okay. This is cool. Festival mask. Festival mask. No. Get past the headbands. Headkerchiefs. Very cute. Okay. We are going to be taking a look at that later. We got some Pokemon kimonos. We got the weird ear. The siskin. Okay, that's cute. I do like this a lot. Cleaver, Ursaluna, cute. Oh, that is so cute. I like the colors. Uh, oh, yes, let's go. These are very cute color schemes. I think, you know what? I have money. Let's get, what was I looking at? I look at the Siskent. Oh, Seascape. I was reading it wrong. Uh, no. Let's make... Thank you, purchase. Um, let me get Lilligant as well. Yeah. No, we're not changing yet. I will save the changing for my room. See, that's not crimson. That's red. That's not crimson. I don't think that it's my... Uh, it's a little bit better on uh, my actually like looking at my computer, um, but yeah, I wouldn't call that crimson. Uh, I do like this indigo. 
I think I'll buy the... Uh, I'll buy... I'll buy the, 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 the white. No. And trousers. Do I have... Let me just buy the slate trousers just because... No. Uh, I'm not interested in these trousers. Pokemon bottoms. Uh, Earth. Relit. With ear. Grape. Love that. Yes, please. Uh, interesting. There's Saluna. Ooh. Oh, yay. It took us this long to get short pants? Come on. No. Uh, I do like this gray. Uh, I'll buy it. Yeah. We're being bougie today. We're buying things. Crop pants. These are my booty shorts. Let's go. Is all of them? Okay. Uh, what do I want to get? Like this. As always, black pants are good. Can't go wrong with black. No. Let's go here. The karate gi wasn't impressed with it, and that's all they got. Uh, uh, get a sandals. I think that's what I saw. Yeah, Zori sandals. Not super interested. Fancy Zori sandals. Not a sh not a shoes person. Split toe boots. Okay. Oh, the little bootsies. Okay, this I'm this I'm interested in. Uh, let me get a white pair and a black pair, just to like have the range. Uh, anything else I want to buy? I doubt it, but just to check. Amethyst. Let's get Indigo. Sometimes you just need like just a slightly different type of black. Uh, and just eyeglasses. I think they're gonna be the same. Oh, I love these little spectacles. Oh, these are good. These gay little glasses. Can I zoom in? Yes. Okay, we have ochre. Blue spruce, amethyst. No, no, no. Also, just a heads up. I think fashion is going to be the rest of this stream. Uh, just let you know. Probably be doing a ton more like actual Pokemoning for us this stream. Uh, you will just be looking, looking good and kicking ass. Uh, I think these black ones would be best. Yes. Um, not yet. I keep my normal fashions. Okay. And yeah. Oh wait, no, 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 no. We're not done. We're not done. We've got the twisted, the twisted ones. It's a FNAF game now. Um, headband, 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 headband. Where is it? Is the like twisted, twisted headkerchief headband? White. Yes. No. Dark slate. And that'll yeah, that I will I'm done for now. Thank you so my goodness. Uh my hairstyles are bold and stylish. I am in the mood for a style change. I I I wish they would like let you like flip through the options before like paying but you know kind of shakes it up it makes it feel a bit more fancy it's like you have to pay before you even walk into the door grab yourself a seat so what'll it be i don't know we've got oh not gonna show me until i pick it okay uh, short, no. Long, no. 
Survey Corp style. Nah. Sure, no. Okay, so it looks like there's only like three new styles. Middle part. No, I don't want to look like Leon Kennedy. That's. What? Is there an. What is happening here? It's like flipping through them like adjusts a very slight thing. Alright. Uh, side part. No. Twin tails. Ah! Uh, I mean, it's definitely cute, but... And then, yeah, no. Um... It's cute, but I don't think right now. Um, that's what I want to go for. Quite yet? Maybe later. Maybe later. Um, I think I'll keep. T Let me go back. Um, uh, chestnut. Okay, we have more color. Good. Gold. Oh, yeah, it's like that like poop color. Crimson. Again, not crimson, but sure. Blue, no. Uh, I mean, it's very cute. I don't know if I want to go with it though. I'll, I'll try it out. I'll try it out. Let me see if that changes my opinion on some of these. No. Uh, I mean, that's that's cute. I don't know what I want to go for right now. Survey Corp style. Cute, but then, like, hair stuff doesn't really happen. No. Yeah, I'll keep to my, uh, curled hair. Next confirm. Yeah, looked great. We're just gonna do a quick hair. Recoloring. Keep the eyebrows the same. Snip, snip. And we're done here. Not a bad look, wouldn't you say? Yeah, looks great. Thanks for coming now. Thanks for the hair dye. Drop by again anytime. You hear? I'll keep polishing my skills. All right. Yeah, I was a bit underwhelmed actually with the amount of hairstyles provided, but it, it happens. We will be underwhelmed. And we will live with it. Okay. It's fashion time. Uh, flat cap. Everyday kimono. Everyday kimono. What was... Okay. I really like this one. This one's cool. Uh, festival top. Let me see what other stuff I can pair with it. No. That's kind of cool. The Lilligant looks with, like, with it. That is powerful. Very beautiful. Very powerful. Uh, just the dark pants. It makes the, f the waistline look kind of frumpy. I mean, like, this looks correct, but I don't want to do correct right now. I want to do cool. This actually fits really nicely with the yellows in the Ursa Luna trim. Fits, it's not the same yellow by any means. Uh, Ursa Luna has more of a golden yellow, where it looks like uh, Seascape has more of, like, a, almost like a bluish yellow. It's, it's faded. Uh, and then... Yeah, no, the, it's it's too vibrant of a pink, and it makes my hair look uh, washed out almost. Uh, let's check out these shoesies. Uh, those are fun. That feel that feels wrong. It makes me feel like I'm like almost dealing with. Uh, oh, that's actually kind of cool. Sandals. I would actually go for some like nice cloppy shoes.
I actually need to go for some clip flops. I can't believe it. Um, yeah, I'll save these. Look at these teeny tiny shoes. Ooh, that's fun. That's a fun look. Um, the eye color. Do I want to get the same eye color? I think I do. I wish it was like a. It was brighter. I want like a stronger. A stronger, like, pale. Uh, yeah, I mean, that'll work for me. Uh, the headband. <laughs> Definitely not doing the hat. Uh, the mask kind of works, actually, with this hair. Uh, let's go with, where my glasses go? Uh, yeah, I just need to get some shoes. Uh, okay, it's changing. I need to go and change my shoes because they are not right. They are just, they're just not right. Or I might look at the white ones again and realize they are correct. And you know what? That would not be the weirdest thing in the world. I need... I need some thick shoes. The Zori, no, it's a bit too... I do find it funny that the different shoe styles, if you have a thicker sole, it's not going to make your character taller. It's going to make your legs shorter. Look, look at that. It just... Your feet shorten. It's wild. It's like they have like, it's like shove your feet into it. Fancy Zori sandals. I think this would actually work really nicely. That like white would pair. Is there like a blue? Like a... Uh, oh no. Yeah, I need like a, I need like a bright blue. And I don't think any of these are going to give it to me. No, yeah, okay. I've got some fancy Zori sandals. I will change right away. Thank you very much. Yeah, this gives me the right amount of uh, eye catchy, but almost with a bit of subtlety. Uh, let us see what's going on in town. Mm. We're at about two hours now, actually. Um, let me take care of a couple. Let me look at you, actually. Fancy buying a sweet treat? Sure. Can I just do candy? Here at the candy stand, you can purchase XP candy to raise your Pokemon's XP levels. Oh, no. I'm good. But thank you. Um, I'm going to make it nighttime, and I'm going to check out that Drifloom thing. And I think that might be the last thing we do for stream. Because I have work in the morning, and I have to get up earlier than I usually do. Slur rest until, until nightfall. Just taking a nice midday, midday snooze. Great. It's dark outside. I'm gonna sleep. I need to save. Let's go. Oh, yeah, yeah. I'm stuck in the wall. I'm not even facing the right way. That was. I walked out of my house, nap drunk. <laughs> uh, can we teleport actually to here? Wait, what's this? Is this a request? What are you? Go away. Uh, Prelude Beach, I think is where they said something might be happening. Mm -hmm. Oh. I hear something. Let's see what we find. Keep 
an ear out. Oh, oh, oh. Hello. Is this? Oh, oh, oh! It's just the the wake. I think this is just a just the a. a I think this is what that woman was noting. Okay. There are five wisps remaining in this area. Um. I hear something. Uh, let me go to the pier. Can I swim into the ocean? No. Interesting. Let me... I'm gonna keep the mission off for now. I wanna see if I can just find it myself. It's nightfall. It's about the time for ghosts to actually pop out. So if there's a ghost around... It should be popping up around here. Oh, person's getting tired. Let's see. Um, stop getting tired. We've got things to do. We've got Pokemon to catch. We gotta catch them all. As the saying goes. I don't see anything around here, and I think it's nighttime. Yeah, it's nighttime. So if ghosts are gonna pop up, they're gonna pop out now. But I don't know where the rest of everything is. If I get back to town and I don't see anything, I'll just like turn the quest on. Is that a thing? No, it's just someone being dramatic. Um, where is the map? Uh, requests, a new mission. Big Buzzle playing with Driftloon. There we go. Investigate the Driftloon playing with a child at Prelude Beach in the evening. Is it... Did I turn it on? I thought I did. Yeah, I did. Huh. Maybe I just can't teleport there. Man, I went to the beach and there ain't nothing there. And it's nighttime. I'll go again. Wait. I did see something. Maybe it will change what she says. Seems one of the village children plays with a drift loom. Beach. Okay, we need, we need to identify the child. Oh, we're done. Okay. Uh, who? I mean, there was that one girl who told me about the spirit tomb. The one I assume is dead. Um, I think I saw her chatting with the candy guy. Okay, so she moves around. So where is she now? I think I saw her underneath a tree previously. You. Yeah, you'd be the most likely one to be meddling with that kind of stuff. Hey, Vissa. Thanks again for helping me. You've collected 11 wisps so far. That leaves 60, 60... 96. I wanted to say 69 so badly. Now that you've gathered 5, here's a little thank you present for me to you. An oval stone. A particular stone that makes certain Pokemon species of Pokemon evolve. It's round and smooth. Oh, you've gathered 10, haven't you? Please take this as well. A rare candy. If you find nine more, I'll give you a little reward. Do you have any questions for me? Uh, I know how many are left. So you're not the one who is interacting with a Drifloon. So I'm not walking to every single house to chat people up. Uh, let me find the child. Where is the child I need? Because it's not giving me a direction, so this seems... It seems like it's trying to intentionally be, a, like, a mystery? Ooh, mystery game. Uh, oh, there's one. Hi, Geodude. 
Your Pokemon is putting its heart and soul into its farm work. Oh, no. You're doing so good. I'm so excited for you. Uh, what do you need? Sure, we'd love some help from a strong, strapping type. <laughs> no. no, thanks. You can live. Uh, you're just hanging out here, bouncing some stuff? Ooh. <gasps> Ooh. Monkey. Touchy. Touch. Hey, touch. Oh, there's one over there. There are four west remaining in this area. I see you, fucker. You're behind the buildings. Are you a child? No, you're an adult. I'm surprised I'm the only one reacting to these. Oh, oh, okay, okay. Gotta find my way between these buildings. I see how it is. <gasps> Book! I have three more. I think I think you got it this way. Yeah, you. Hi, Taiko. Taiko. Ooh, I simply can't help myself when it comes to Master Benny's potato mochi. They're the whole reason I came to live in Hisu. Okay. Would you like an introduction? I can arrange one. I think he's lonely. Um, hey, there's, there's a lady. Do you like women? Actually, I could imagine him being gay. Would you at least like a friend? Like a customer? There should be two more. Yeah, there's two more in the area. Uh, they seem to be kind of hidden, so I have to, like, walk behind stuff. Which I am more than fine with doing. Uh, probably, you know, trapping myself is not going to be super helpful. Uh, that's what I thought. I hate that this is easier than the Bidoof quest. Because the Bidoof quest was dumb. And I did it on a different save. And I'm not even going to bother to do it on this save until I get, like, to a point if I need to, uh, need to like, uh, do completionist stuff. Uh, Pokemon can become stronger than you or I'll ever be. That's why we deal and do with them with smarts and tools. You are not the child I am looking for. Where is the child? You sell me things. Yep. Yep. I figured you'd be back here. You're hiding away in the back of this house. Touch. They also be outside, which is nice. I hate having to be like going to the building. I forget all the wisdom in this area. Oh, that's it? Okay. Well, that's at least good to know. I need to find a child. Where's the child? Give it to me. I'm assuming this is riveting gameplay for everyone listening. Uh, I think this is the point where I may be able to go to the beach. Hey, Vesa. Thanks for collecting the 16 far. I'm going to go. Okay, so she doesn't seem to care about uh, the area-specific ones. Don't give up. Okay. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to see if just walking out to the beach impacts anything, or else I'll just need to go and chat with some kids during the day, see what their testimonies bring, and cross my fingers that uh, someone will cough up the whole situation. I don't think you notice a damn thing, so I'm not going to talk to you. It's getting to be daybreak, which is concerning, because... The whole point of this is to do everything at nighttime. Uh, no thing behind me. Yeah, I don't see a darn thing. Yeah. Yeah. I can't even go into the ocean. Which is silly, because what if I just wanted to swim off into the wake? I also can't walk into this house. Uh, yeah, let's make it daytime and then go chat with some children. I don't want to end this stream until I at least have some sort of progress with that mission. 
Because I feel like it shouldn't be hard to find whoever this child is. I got this mission pretty early, so... Uh, let's go midday so that everyone's, like, out and about. Because it seems like people change locations based on the time of day, which is a good touch, because they should do that. Though I haven't gotten a good sense of how fast time moves, because I don't have, like, a clock that I'm looking at. Uh, let's see where the children are. Uh, I want to take a photo with him, but he's got, like, a request or something, and that's going to be annoying. Uh, let's see here. Is this Vesa? Chio. Hey. Hey, how'd you get a Pokemon to become your friend? Okay, so not you. You're just like, I'm a child. I'm, I'm four. I'm this many. Okay. Let me see these little shits who are always over here. They're always like, oh, I'm, I'm the coolest one. You can't, you can't fight me. I'm gonna kick your butt. I'm, I don't have to deal with taxes. Uh, what is that? Roserade? It is! I didn't realize these are just your dudes. Yo! What's up? What's up, little guys? Oh, you taking a little nap? Oh, I'll take a nappy. You take a little nap. Drift lum. Oh, shing. Are you sleepy? What the heck is that? Oh, shallow, hello. Hi, Bummery. Hello, bunny. I feel like Warwick and uh, 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 the bunny, little bunny, uh, I feel like they get along just great. Uh. Where are those shitty children? They're like sitting on like a a cart together. I thought I saw them over here. I guess, I mean, yeah, they started construction over here. So I guess whatever was here got moved. I don't know where these kids went. Hey, do you know where some children are? Last place I saw the Will-O-Wisp was the Windswept Runs at Night. Please catch it. Oh, yeah, I already dealt with that. Um, they're poking buildings now. Just start finding children. <laughs> just just some spare children running around like you have a child. Uh, no, this is not... Oh, 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 child. Honestly, I probably should have done this at night because the children may have at least been, like cornered um wait i just saw you outside god damn it okay got tell oh, what who huh. hi wenton yeah i don't need that thank you for telling me that fighting pokemon is helpful for fighting pokemon uh you let's go You're an adult. Hi, Yui. Make you've got the items you need when you're out to research strong Pokemon. Brings a gun. Okay. I'm going to make the executive decision to call it here. Because I... It's nearly 11 p.m. for me. And it would probably be smart if I head to bed soon. And I don't know where this child is. The child's somewhere. Hiding in plain sight it's me no but i'm gonna end things here because i don't think this is super interesting and i'm also not super interested uh but i will look into this later uh I i'll honestly probably see if i can just find the location of the kid and then check on them next stream uh first thing uh but thank you everybody who stopped by this evening uh i wasn't sure if i was going to scream today so it was a bit last minute, but it was very fun. I hope y'all had a lot of fun listening in. Uh, and I will hopefully be streaming Wednesday night. Oh, the Fingers crossed Wednesday, 7 p.m. PT. Uh, no promises at the moment, but uh, 
got work and am busy. So thank you again for everybody who stopped in and I hope you have a, a lovely evening and a wonderful Sunday. Good night.